Here we're going to find all the real zeros of the polynomial p of x equals 4x to the fourth minus 25x squared plus 6 using all of the tools that we have been studying. We're going to use Descartes' rule of signs, and so if you have not seen that video, please watch it and then come back to this one. What is interesting about this polynomial is that it is an even function. Notice that p of the opposite of x equals p of x. If you substituted the opposite of x in for x and raised it to an even power in the two terms, you would get back what you started. So we know right away that the polynomial is symmetric uh, with respect to the y-axis. We see that there are, are two sign changes in the coefficient, so there are two um, positive reals maximum as well as two negative reals possible. And so when we go to our rational zeros theorem, p over q, both plus and minus will be used. We know that the entries in the numerator have to be factors of 6, so 1, 2, 3, and 6. The factors in the denominator have to be factors of the leading coefficient, 4, and so 1, 2, and 4. As I start to list these, I'm going to first divide by 4. So I get 1 fourth, 2 fourths, which is 1 half, 3 fourths, 6 fourths, which is 3 halves, now I'll divide by 2. 1 half is already there. 2 over 2 is 1. 3 over 2 is already there. 6 over 2 is 3. Now when I divide by 1, I already have the integers 1 and 3. I should introduce 2 and 6 as well. So our smallest possible rational zero is negative 6. The largest possible is positive 6. So we'll be able to look at the standard window to start with. Um, so here, where I've entered the function into y3 in the y equal screen, I'm going to press zoom and 6 for the standard window. And here we see the graph. It appears as if the real zeros are all between plus or minus 3. How about if we go back into the window and enter negative 4 for the x min and positive 4 for the x max. And then graph it again. It looks to me as if we may have zeros at plus and minus one half, just looking at the graph. And so uh, let's test those with synthetic division first. So negative a half and positive a half. Now we have to be careful here because we have some missing zeros our coefficients will be 4, 0, negative 25, 0, and 6. Because the x and x cubed terms were missing. 
4 will be the leading coefficient in the quotient times negative a half would give us negative 2. Add 0 gives us negative 2. Times negative a half will give us positive 1. Add negative 25 will give us negative 24. Times negative a half will give us positive 12. Add 0 gives positive 12 times negative a half gives negative 6. And so when we add 6, we do get that negative a half is a rational 0. Now, let's check positive a half. Four would be the leading coefficient of this quotient. Times a half would be two. Add negative two would be zero. Times a half would be zero. Add negative 24 would give negative 24. Times a half would be negative 12. So under our actual rational zeros, we have negative one-half and one-half already. Now we are left with a quadratic and the quadratic factor would be 4x squared plus 0x minus 24. If we set that equal to zero, to find its zeros, we get x squared equals 24 fourths, or six. Using the square root principle, we get x equals plus or minus the square root of six. So we have two irrational zeros, they are negative the square root of 6 and positive the square root of 6. Notice two of the zeros are positive, two of the zeros are negative, as we predicted before.